anarchy. What exactly is anarchy? Anarchy is derived from the Greek words an and archos. That means simply without archons or without rulers. So that means no kings. No dictators. No religious leaders. But it also means the lack of any other ruler. But how would life be organized? Let's explain it with an example. This is a country of Pompolonia. Pompolonia decides to be anarchistic from now. So what now? The country is still there. In theory, the people would create small communities like families, villages, counties or such. Those communities would take care of their belongings themselves. That's Pompolonia now. Who would reign those communities? Again, in theory, some people would volunteer and create councils. Those councils would discuss about what to do, and they would take the necessary actions. Let's say Community A needs new roads, but they don't have the materials to build such. B has the materials A needs. A asks B for the materials. B needs something from A too. So they trade stuff. So every community can trade. So there could still be an advanced economy. Wait a minute. Can't a community just take something from another? Let's say community C wants stuff for free. So C buys some weapons and starts a war. Let's remember there won't be any policemen. No judges, and no military, except uh, the military forces of C, of course. So who stops C? In theory, when C starts a war, the other communities would fight back C. For the good cause, all would help. Just to stop C. When C is stopped, everything goes back to normal. So, that's anarchy. Anarchy does not imply chaos, riot, nihilism, total absence of rules. And anarchy has nothing at all to do with religion. Is anarchy possible? I don't know. Would it be good if it worked? Maybe the individual would have more freedom. But I just don't think it's practicable right now. For now it's a topic.